What's up guys, Kerry from KJB back again with another episode of The Leicester City Career Mode. I hope I find you very well today. Now on the back to a very, very good end to the first half of the season with a few wins on the bounce. We have this run of fixtures, Sheffield United, Northampton in the FA Cup, which will be a sim. I'm going to sim Sheffield United as well because we should play Brighton, have a sim there and that will conclude the whole of the January transfer window in this episode. You do join us on the eve of Dewsbury Hall leaving Leicester City as well. It might already be confirmed at this point. It is a massive shame that the stupid PSR rules and financial fair play and all of that mean we have to sell our best player. But it is what it is. We do have one signing left to make in January as well. And I would like Cam. I do think that Baldanzi, his time is up at the club. I'm going to transfer list him, hope an offer comes in and go to replace him. If we can get an offer, I'll take it because he's just not been good enough. Sheffield United line up like this. Again, it's not a massively impressive lineup. They have lost quite a few on the bounce. And we are in good form with a good start at 11. Quick sim in this one. 2 1 loss. Of course, it's a 2 1 loss. Why wouldn't it be? Right, I've done something really, really stupid there. I've accidentally clicked accept on a Moffy offer. I'm going to show you that in the replay. I've just completely zoned out of that one. I've done it again with Mella. Why have I done that twice? Right, bear with, I want to see if I can block offers so that I don't have to sell them because I really don't want to sell either of those players. Right, I'm just going to try and delegate a renewal for Moffy and see if that helps not lose him. I'm going to offer that and hopefully that means that offer... Oh, there you go, I can block offers now. Perfect. So I'm going to do the same with Mella as well. I'm going to delegate a contract renewal. I've recently done that so I might end up losing him. Oh, he looks good as well. Right, I'm going to take my time with this now because it seems to be a bit laggy. Now, Chelsea want Baldanzi. Interestingly, Chelsea want our cam. How ironic is that? Now, I'm going to put it up to about 55 to 75 million. And if we can get that, we'll take it and absolutely run with it. We do have another off. Well, Danzi, this one is from Villa and the same applies. Anyone who's going to give me at least 55 million is going to get the chance to get Baldanzi. And that's not good. Aaron Mella has left the club. That was a massive mistake on my part where I just kept clicking buttons. Didn't mean to sell a youth prospect like that, but yeah, it's happened, isn't it? FA Cup third round it is against Northampton Town. Who, let's be honest, shouldn't really cause us too much of a threat in this one, especially with our backup team and how good it is. We are going to quick sim. We have won 2 1. That's a bit more nervy than it needed to be. Right, so Aston Villa are prepared to pay 58 million for Baldanzi. I am just accepting it. I don't get on particularly well with him. It is what it is at the end of the day. And then we are going to play this game against Brighton. You saw him in the last episode. They did provide us a little bit of a scare. I think we should be able to beat them really straight away we are looking a little bit out of position that is something i want to try and focus on just using the right players to press right players to defend get them in the right positions from the start alex scott big tackle i'm looking for orban to make the run he's going that side eventually gift orban going against that right left center back gives out to harvey barnes harvey barnes shot is blocked we are looking for an improved result. I think it was 3-3 against Brighton last time. I am looking for a win in this fixture. Good little ball that. Harvey Barnes gives it out towards Matson. Matson to Logan Barnes. Logan Barnes tries to pinch it through. Harvey Barnes in the box. Saved by the goalkeeper. Can he dink it over and did he? Gives it there for Alex Scott. Orban to Barnes. Barnes to Scott. Scott and Orban trying to link up. I'm overplaying it tries to put it in but Sinistera gets he's just met by Wilfred and Diddy and we've won a goal kick well done Stewart gives it to Clark Clark for Scott Scott puts it out there Stewart on the run again can he drag it back he's into Jack Clark who just gets it nicked off him we're playing nice football we've not really created chances as of yet gone down this side Matt Sings just got it tackled by Ibanez Logan Barnes though that's why he's in the team as the cam Orban drags it back not quite. 
So the only danger is getting counter-attacks at this point by Brighton, but the fullbacks are having a very good game. And did he? Puts that one forward. Orban is released. This is the man we want on this chance. Give Orban a cross goal. He doesn't miss him. He just does not miss those. That's exactly what we've been waiting for. A chance just to unleash Orban. That's his bread and butter. Just getting it on the side of a six-yard box. Hitting it far corner. He scores them for fun. And he puts us 1-0 up against Brighton. Nice. Orban on the break of half time. Turns past his man. Goes for a heavy touch. I know we're over the allotted time now. So he's going to hit it early. And that just goes inches wide from distance. Unlucky gift. Very, very good end to that half. I'm looking for that to be the stepping stone in this one. And he's got around him. Simon. He's using his body quite well. It's the only thing with Matson is he is quite small. Quite weak on the ball. He gets pushed off quite a lot. Good block by Doyle. So oh, it's a good header by Sinistera, but Pope is alert to it. Alex Scott puts it up for Logan Barnes. Now we are breaking again. Orban puts that one out for Matson to chase. Matson has a bit of room. Goes for the heavy touch, but his strength just let him down. A good play in Matson. Brings it back to Orban. Orban, Jack Clark in the box. Finesses it and puts it over. He's tried way too hard to put that top corner then, and unfortunately it's just missed completely. Clark's done well there though, found Stewart, Stewart brings it back into him, he wants a bit of redemption, he's found Logan Barnes, he's found Harvey Barnes, and that's the sealer to give us a bit of comfort space, the Barneses link up, it is lovely, Clark's done really well to get back onto it, and Logan Barnes has just given Harvey Barnes an absolute sitter, he can't miss it, he absolutely can't miss that, it's good play, Moda, Zerksky, he's turned on it, Doyle's done really, really well. What an interception. Oh, Danso has just missed it. Sinister has capitalised on his defensive mistake. Danso's gone to put pressure on Kaminsky. They've got it in the box. Zerksky shoots. Pope saves. Dangerous ball in, but Clark does deal with it. Ian Matson just pokes one forward for Logan Barnes to run onto. And he's had a very good game so far, Logan Barnes. Thomas is against him. He's done well just to use his body, keep hold of that ball. Logan Barnes gives it up for Orban. Orban sees Ian Matson. Matson's got it. Puts one far post. Logan Barnes is there. He's missed his header. Unlucky. We've really restricted them to just half chances this whole game. It's been really good for us. Defensively, very happy with his performance. Obviously, we could have had one or two more goals. But we've defended really well. And that is something I really wanted to improve on. I think I said at the start of this game, just using the right players to help defend is the key. Matson's got another chance to put a good ball in. Goes for it. Harvey Barnes is at that back post. Doesn't quite get anywhere near controlling it. Logan Barnes is going to have a chance. Goes for the finesse. It's gone harmlessly wide. There you go. 2-0. Nice easy win. There it is then. Tommaso Baldanzi has moved to Aston Villa. £58.5 million. Pounds. But more importantly, that gives us another transfer. The player I am going to go for as well is Luka Sukic. He's got a lot of nice play styles very good at dribbling decent passing good long shots but he's very quick six foot one he's about 55 million so what we've just got from Baldanzi we'll reinvest that in Sukic so started off 45 million pounds they want Harvey Barnes let's remove him let's bump it up to 48 and a half 47 and a half we'll do that and they've said, yeah, and as per usual, we're going to delegate, give him the wage that he's on, plus a little bit, and see what happens with that. And he signed. Straight away, Sukic has come in to replace Baldanzi. Sunderland are our next opponents. So there are a few players who still play for Sunderland there in real life. Patterson, the keeper, is the one who could potentially be on the move. They do have Palestri, the Man U winger. It's a decent team. But it is nothing I don't think this backup team should be able to handle. Sukic is going on the bench. And the Europa League team is going to get the chance to put us through in the FA Cup. Away at the Stadium of Light, it is a very big stadium. A very atmospheric stadium as well. We just need to put in a composed performance. A bit like Brighton. And then hopefully come away with a result again. Fatou is instantly just running out of the defence. And I love it. Fatou going again. 
cuts inside onto his left, finds Ahmed. Ahmed into the box, can't quite release it. Justin gives it to Ahmed. Ahmed to Justin, back to him. Ahmed, can he get it in the box? Moffy's found it. Mainu's going to have a go and puts it over. Fatu again finds Ahmed. Gives it up to Barnes. Barnes to Moffy. Moffy's going to get a chance to shoot. Sunderland are doing well just to put bodies in the way. Clark puts it up. Moffy the target. He's come to him. Ahmed finesses it just wide of the post. Very good play. I do like, we've got a first team and a second team. And the second team are just fun to play with. They just have a complete different kind of style. It's all about the wingers dribbling and having a bit more fun with this team. Whereas the first team is very much, it should on paper be more clinical. This one's more youngsters trying to impress. I really, really like the difference that we've got. Logan Barnes puts the ball in. Ahmed, the target is a good header by Patterson. Another quarter to us and Braybrook is putting this one in. Goes in. Ahmed's header. That's a good one. 1-0. We've definitely deserved it in this game. We have put Sunderland to the sword. This is the team of players who very much could step up into the first team. So Ahmed's definitely a candidate for it. He's 82 rated as a left winger. It's very good, this team. I do enjoy using it. Sunderland showing a bit going forward. Armstrong's got the other side of Taylor. He's into the box. Fiverr puts up a strong leg. Can we get it up? Justin's done all right. Not well, though. Moffy couldn't get it out of his feet, and Fiverr makes another good save. Sunderland putting us under a bit of pressure. Maybe feeds it up to Ahmed. Ahmed puts it to Logan Barnes. Logan Barnes to dink it forward, but it's a great interception by the centre-back. Ahmed's done well. Logan Barnes has so much space on it. He's going to shoot near post, and Moffy's just got in his way. Fatawu, we struggle. We can't get it out of our own half at the minute. We are not playing to our full potential. Armstrong goes for it. What a block by Doyle. Justin is going to come off for Evans. Taylor's going out there because he can play on that left-hand side. And that'll do us for now. We had very, very good spells in that first half. But Sunderland gained a bit of confidence and just looked a bit more up for it towards the end. So we just need to stop that and nip that in the bud. Get another goal early on and just settle these nerves. And that's not how we're going to do it, giving the ball away. Taylor's ball through, finds Moffy. Moffy's got that Europa League turn, slots into the corner. Clinical for Moffy. I love him as a backup striker. It's a shame he don't get more minutes because Orban is so good. But having Moffy as someone who's just as good, it's so fun to use. I know if Orban gets injured, I'm not worried too much because Moffy is just clinical. Uchi gets the other side a little Clark, but we've dealt with it again. Defences look quite solid this game. I do like this partnership we've got of Taylor, Doyle, Evans. Just youngsters coming through the academy, and I would love to give them all more minutes next season. I'm debating limiting myself even more and just saying like one signing or replacement signings only, because we've got to start using these youth players. They're way too good not to be used. Great tackle, Clark again. Maynou. Little poke up to Barnes. Barnes tries to feed Moffy. Moffy with a beautiful touch. Goes for that shot. He's got the Orban finish. Hit it across goal. 3-0. Time to introduce Sukic. I will also bring Kraus on as well because he needs a few more minutes. Clock's ball up. Does find Moffy. Here's a chance. Can we get him involved? Sukic onto his left foot. He's looking for an impressive start. Gives it out to Ahmed. Not going to be the goal. Gets a, just an attempt off, unlucky by Ahmed. Got a late free kick. I do really, really want to keep the clean sheet. Palestri goes for the overhead kick. He's not quite Jude Bellingham though. Neil gets it up to Armstrong. Again, I do want this clean sheet. Doyle does bring down Palestri. He does win it back. They are going to get a very dangerous free kick for a consolation goal. Ballard, the centre-back, is the one to take it. Gets it up. Skies it. Clean sheet intact. 3-0 against Sunderland. We're through to the next round of the FA Cup. Justin broke his toe. He's out for three months. Okay, that's fine. It is what it is. It does leave us a little short, but like just did in that match, Taylor can play left back. So he will now be that backup just to cover us in case we need it. In terms of deadline day, I don't actually plan on doing anything. I think that one signing to replace Baldanzi is what we need. Man, you want Ahmed. I'd see him being a very key player for us as this series goes on, so I'm not going to do that. And next season, I don't 
really want to make too many signings. We've got a lot of good youngsters, and I think it's about time they get bled into this team. So if we do lose players, it's time that some of these make that step up. I mean, the only thing I know for certain I'm looking for next season is a goalkeeper to replace Pope. I think that will probably be it. Get a good goalkeeper in, use the youth academy and the players coming through there, bleed them into his first team, obviously Undiddy's the one who looks like he'll be off out of all of these players. But we've got such a good first team. In terms of a standing to be third at the minute, it's not quite comfortable, but it's a good place to be in. I think next time out it's going to be Man U, Burnley, Fulham. And then following that, these next three. So you're going to get quite a lot of this second half of the season. We got through the first half quite quickly. The second half, we will look to just bring you more action. We're going to have Europa League games, hopefully more FA Cup games. I'll bring you what I can in that. If you have enjoyed today, please leave a like on the video. Comment with any feedback. Subscribe to see more from us. And I'll catch you next time. Oi!